All right, bet this is the reason why they hate you. Okay, if you chosen, this is the reason why they hate you. This is the reason why they hate the chosen ones, bro. This is the reason why they hate you. Okay, there's two main points. Okay, I'm gonna talk about the physical reasons why they hate you physically on this physical realm, why they hate you, why people might hate you, and I'm gonna talk to you on the spiritual reason. This is really the, the main reason why they hate your ass. The, really, the spiritual reason. All right, bet. So, boom, on the physical reason, on the physical side of things, bro. The reason why they hate you probably because you're good looking. Okay, you probably more you probably more attractive than them. Okay, certain people are just they they lame, bro. Some people will really hate you because you look better than them. Can you just, bro, that, that's, the, that's the real, can you think about that shit? Some people will hate you because you look better than them. Just naturally, you might just be naturally an attractive person. And you might just get, like, for you, for example, if you're a man, a lot of females will be looking at you. A lot of females will want you. And they get jealous because the females don't want them. That's how petty some people are, bro. Some people are that petty that they will hate you. Because you look more attractive than them. For real. You ever met, ever had that shit happen to you? Okay. Where you you was just, you know what I'm saying? All the females are trying to get come at you. It's really because you're chosen too. But all the females are trying to, it, it, if you're chosen and you do attractive, bro, that, bro. If you're chosen, you are attractive. Okay. But that's really why they hate your ass. On the physical side of things. Number one is because you look good. You look attractive. And you're pulling Females, you pull even for you females. You uh, you get more attention than certain females. You get more attention from guys than certain females. And certain females don't like that shit. Okay? Certain females don't like that shit. You might have a fatter ass than another female. And then they get jealous, like, oh, she think her she her ass fatter than mine. They get jealous. You know what I'm saying? They try to compare themselves to you. You know, that's why you see a lot of females <laughs> who are attractive hang out with not non-attractive friends. Okay, for some of you females, that's when you see a lot of females who are very attractive would usually tend to hang out with a lot of non-attractive friends because they want all the attention. They want all the glory from the, all the other guys. See, but when you step in the way, you, you take all that shit from them. You take all that shit from them so they don't like that shit. For some of you guys, right? So, some of you guys, bro, you guys are just... All the females, just, you're not even trying to pull. These niggas be out here trying to chase these females. These niggas be out here, literally, their whole day, well, their whole day is basically made up of them chasing females. And, and guess what? That shit don't even work. You ever notice niggas that be chasing females don't get none, okay? Or they, they get, like, the lowest tier of females? That's that's what happens, bro. These niggas, are, they hate the fact that you, you're just attractive, you just look better, and, females, and people just like you more because of your looks. Okay, and you usually if you're chosen, a lot of uh, the opposite sex will usually tend to flock to you way more than anybody else. I'm not even gonna lie. Okay, you usually just naturally beautiful, right? But yeah, like a lot of the reason is that it's that petty, bro. That's but we're talking on the physical side of things. It's that petty. It sounds stupid, but that's the reason. That's a, a reason why they hate you. Another reason is because you could be doing better than them. You could be doing better than them. You could be making more money than them. You can dress better than him. Bro, my fucking cousin <laughs> died because of that shit. You know what I'm saying? My cousin, this is in Philly. I'm not even from Philly, but I had family in Philly. You know what I'm saying? His ass died because he started doing better than his friends. And the funny thing about it is he knew, okay, he knew about that that they they were they were starting to get jealous of him. He knew that they were starting to get envious of him. And he still went around him. And guess what? They ended up killing his ass because of that shit. Okay? God, you guys got to listen to your intuition, bro. You got to listen to your intuition, bro. That shit's telling you when the fuck to stay away from certain people. When the fuck you should, bro. And he knew that shit. And he still went around them. Okay? And I'm trying to teach you guys this shit. All right? But that, that's another reason, bro. That's another reason. All right? Another reason is because you're doing better than them. You could be making more money. That's why you stay shh. You stay low-key. That's why us chosen ones, we, we stay by ourselves. We don't trust anybody. Yeah, we got a protection around us. We're not, we're not going to trust nobody. We ain't going to tell nobody shit. All right? Don't tell nobody shit. Keep your mouth shut, bro. When you start blowing up, when you start making shit, keep your mouth shut. All right? You don't know how people are going to take that shit. All right? But yeah, bro, you're doing better than them. Right? When, when they start seeing you, you know what I'm saying? That's why you, you don't be telling people what you got, bro. When, when they start seeing you driving better than them, you know what I'm saying? You could just be looking better. You could just be making more money. You don't tell these people these shit, bro. Don't stay the fuck... Keep your mouth shut, 
Okay, but once you get the fuck away from them, shine, bro. Post that shit, shine, and let them eat that shit. Okay, let they let that shit hurt their ass. Okay, but it's because you're doing better than them. They don't like that shit, bro. They don't like that shit. Once you start leveling up, bro, people really don't like that shit. They want you to be just like them. As a matter of fact, they want you to be below them so they can make them feel better. These niggas is lazy as fuck. All they got to do is get off their ass and start taking their life series and they will have the same shit that you want. But they don't want to do that shit. Okay? And they damn sure don't want to let you fucking succeed. Right? They don't want that shit, bro. They don't like that shit. Okay? It's probably because you're doing better than them, bro. It's that simple. These two things are fucking petty as fuck. Okay? This shit is petty as hell. Right? And guys, you could be at your lowest. Right? You could be at your... This is, this, is, this is the chosen one for the chosen. This is how you know you're chosen. Okay? Mind you, you could be literally at your lowest, my nigga. You could be at, literally at your lowest. And this, this is, I'm going to start talking to the, to the spiritual side right now, nigga. You could be at your lowest, bro. And motherfuckers will still hate you. It, it's deeper than that, bro. It gets deeper than that. Okay? Do you know regular motherfuckers, bro? If a regular... When you see regular motherfuckers, right? When they at their lowest, nigga... They don't, nigga, nobody gives a fuck. Nobody bothers them. Nobody, they, they're not even noticed. They're not even noticed, bro. That's how you know you different. That's how you know you're chosen. Regular motherfuckers, they don't even get noticed, bro. Regular motherfuckers, nobody even care about them, okay? And I'm not saying that shit to be mean. I'm just being honest. Regular motherfuckers, nobody know about them. Nobody give a fuck about them. But when you at your lowest, you at your fucking lowest, bro. When you at your lowest, bro, these motherfuckers won't leave you the fuck alone, bro. It's like, bro, they have to keep you down because they know. You want to know why? You want to know why they have to keep you down? You want to know why at your lowest that motherfuckers will get on your ass? It's because they, they fear your fucking potential. Bro, your potential. They know your potential. Usually, you don't know that shit, okay? You probably didn't know that shit, all right? When you was, you know what I'm saying, down bad, you used to look at yourself like a failure sometimes. You just fucking just, you had big dreams, but you was like, bro, can I even make that shit happen? They knew your fucking potential, all right? Once they once they seen you the first time, like that, your potential, this is what your aura and your, your presence, this is why I be scaring motherfuckers too, is your potential. They feel that shit spiritually. Nigga, we, bro, there's a, niggas don't even know this shit, but there's a whole spiritual realm. That you existed right in this at the same time. You're not just here on the physical realm. You're on different realms too at the same time existing. Right? You're on a physical spiritual realm. And their spirit feel know your spirit. And it, your, their spirit can see your spirit right when you walk into them. Okay? That's why that's why they be skin, getting nervous around you. That's not just... They feel that shit on the spiritual realm. Okay? And really your, their spirit fucks with your spirit. But then on the physical realm, their ego don't like that shit. Their ego don't like that shit, bro. Bro, your spirit is on, like, bro, they feel your potential. They know what the fuck you finna become. That's why they, that's why they hate you. That's why they hate you, bro. This is why they fucking hate you, right? The, it's like, bro, they, they hate that shit. They're like, this nigga is greatness. They're like, he's greatness, bro. They know that shit, bro. They know it. They know that you greatness, bro. And I guess I'm not even really religious. I'm not religious. I'm spiritual. But even in the Bible, what's that, that 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 story of Joseph? That story of Joseph in the Bible? But when he started telling his brother his dreams, when he started t telling his uh his brothers how like how much success he's gonna have, he had dreams of being massively successful. Bro, them niggas was about to kill his ass, bro. They got so scared of it. Bro, have you guys that that you guys can relate to that shit, right? I told you the Bible is all symbolism. They, they symbolize your life, bro. They symbolize your life. You guys can relate to that, right? When you when you guys was telling people your dreams, people did not like that shit. People did not want to hear that shit. They're like, hell no, that shit ain't gonna happen. They try to shoot that shit down right away. And when you blow up, bro, it's gonna shock the fuck out of these niggas, bro. Bro, but when Joseph was telling his brothers, bro, how how he's gonna be rich, how he's gonna be successful, how he's gonna like level the fuck up, bro, they, they hate they, they were terrified. Some of you guys know people right now who are terrified of you blowing up. They were terrified, bro. These motherfuckers was terrified. Nigga, they were scared. They were scared that Joseph was going to blow the fuck up. These niggas was scared as fuck, though. Like, hell no. I do not want that shit to happen to him. So his own brothers. 
But nigga, if I'm your brother, nigga, if I blow up, you gonna blow up with me. They don't give a fuck, bro. These people don't care. They don't want, bro. These, this, this how they do you, bro. They will, they will support everybody else, but you. You guys ever notice that people will really support every fucking body else. They be like, yeah, bro. They will shout them out when you when you try to when you try to pull yourself on. You're like, bro, can you share my shit? They won't even do nothing. They, as a matter of fact, they gonna ignore you. They because you the chosen one. They know everybody else ain't chosen. They know everybody else ain't going nowhere. They don't. Mean, but for you though, they like hell no. That nigga right there, we can't let him get nowhere. So I'm saying, bro. They they it, it, it's not just that. They not going nowhere. Okay, they not going nowhere. They don't dream like you. They don't have big dreams like you. Some people literally are satisfied with being fucking content. They don't want nothing out of life. They act like it. Yeah, they act like, yeah, bro, I'm making this. I'm, I'm going to go this far. Bro, them niggas don't even work hard. And you know that shit. You the only motherfucker that be working hard. You the only motherfucker that be going hard with yourself. You know what I'm saying? You the only motherfucker that really be taking shit serious. They don't like that shit, bro. They know you different. They know you different. They will support everybody else. You never notice that shit. You will see people just support everybody else. But when it comes to you, nobody's trying to see you win. As a matter of fact, bro, one time, bro, one time, and I'm not going to say what it is, but you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, on a, I'm in the process of manifesting something big in my life. And one time, just out of nowhere, people, there was just rumors that were spreading about me that I actually started, it started happening and shit. It started happening, and I could not tell you, bro. Everybody was hitting me up to see if it was true. Bro, they were so scared. These niggas were so scared that that shit was true that everybody started hitting me up. 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 Like, they were just nonstop. I had a hope. I'm like, yo, these niggas are terrified. That's why I knew... That when when it really started come down to it, I, I'm going to not, I'm going to have to leave eventually because my my success is going to fuck these niggas up. But I can't tell you guys what it is. I'm still manifesting. You, you shouldn't be trying to tell people your manifestations and shit. Or unless you like me, I already told a lot of people my shit in the past. Okay, that actually came back and bit me in the ass because now I got to worry about you know what I'm saying leaving around here. Okay, but when when they they, they like when those rumors spread and I didn't say anything, those rumors started to spread. That the shit that I was manifesting, which I am still now, it was manifesting. These people started here. They actually started to happen. They actually happened. Out of nowhere, I'm like, bro, what the fuck? That's the universe telling me. The universe is showing me how they were going to react to that shit. And, and the number, the, the, the way, actually, what's really going to happen to me is going to be even way better than that. But they look, even just half of that shit, they were scared. I could not tell you guys this shit, bro. These niggas was scared as fuck. Bro, these niggas were scared as fuck, bro. These niggas were scared. Bro, these niggas don't want to see you make shit. Bro, they were scared. You know how many people were hitting me up trying to ask me, bro, yo, yo, is it true, bro? Is it true? They were scared. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Bro, these people hate your guts. They don't want you to succeed. That's the burden of being chosen. You have to take that shit, bro. And you got to move smart, right? It's that simple. It's that simple, bro. These motherfuckers hate your guts because of that. And yet, nigga, it, 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 they, they, some of these people end up finding out, no, it didn't happen because I, I didn't say shit. But it, it, what they don't know is it's going to happen for me, nigga. And it's going to be even greater than they even thought. And when it comes, it's going to this, it's gonna fucking fuck their head up. Okay? It's still manifesting. It. It's still man. I'm not even going... Matter of fact, it is. I, I, you guys got to speak like you already got that shit. I already got that shit. I already got that shit. And it's, it's, it's all, I'm receiving that shit. I'm receiving all that, that shit that I'm manifesting. And they're going to see that shit. But, bro, these niggas, bro, that even with Joseph, bro, like I said in the story, of the, in the story, uh, in the Bible, bro, they wanted to, they deadass put that, then they, they put him in a, like a dungeon or some shit. They, they put him in like a dungeon or some shit, bro. They, they, how you gonna lock your own fucking brother up, bro? How do, I don't get that shit. How you, bro, you fucking, you're a clown, bro. Well, even Cain and Abel, Cain and Abel, nigga, I, again, I'm not religious, but you know what I'm saying? I respect the stories and the symbolism. I'm spiritual, okay? But look at Cain and Abel. That nigga fucking cracked his brother in that fucking head with a fucking rock because he was scared of his fucking potential and his greatness. Just because God chose his ass over him. Nigga, that nigga kill his own fucking brother because of that shit, boy. 
That nigga kill his own brother because of that shit. These niggas don't want to see you win. Yes, you got a protection around you. You got a force field. But eventually, nigga, you're going to have to leave that place, bro. These niggas don't want to see you fucking win. Bro, these niggas hate your fucking guns, bro. They hate that shit. This shit gets deep, bro. Yo, they, when they see your fucking potential, bro, this is why people just are, fuck, think about it. If you not go, it's like you're in a prison, and and you telling people where the fuck you finna go, and like you're like on the outside telling them, hey, bro, I'm finna level. Up. They gonna fucking hate that shit, bro. They gonna fucking hate that shit. Some of you guys don't even know your potential. You know it, but you scared to admit it. You scared to accept that shit. You says, your, your dream is so big, you scared of that shit. You're like, bro, am I really, can I really do this shit? Yes, nigga, you can really do that shit. Stop being scared. That shit's for you. It's down, put that shit in, it's downloaded in you to do. Right? Before you even came to this physical realm, you already had triggers and shit to trigger you. That's why you have these dreams in you. Those are all triggers. These are all triggers. You already knew you was going to do that shit before you even got here. Now you're getting triggered to do that shit. So you want to manifest certain shit for that dream. Bro, these niggas hate that shit, bro. These niggas hate that shit. Bro, they really locked up his, he really locked up his own brother. And, and guess what? Like I said, they still can't stop you. You know how many niggas, bro, try to stop me? They, they were a little clowny. Some of you guys got clowns. Some, some bad shit happened, and they thought that, that was good enough for them. Fuck no. Joseph still fucking manifested his dream. They tried killing Joseph. He still fucking manifested his dream, nigga, because he has a whole force field around him. But Joseph had to see who the fuck wasn't on his side. Joseph had to see that his brothers were not on his side. Joseph had to see that shit. He had to see who the fuck was on his side and who was not fucking with him, bro. They, Joseph seen that shit.